I don't know if I've ever told you the story when South won their first grand final for a long, long time in 1967. Uh, I'd received a, uh, a full Rabbitohs kit off Charlie Gibson. Who was Charlie Gibson? Uh, he, was, he was the secretary, I think, at the time. I got dressed up and two of the Deltones were Rooster supporters mm -hmm. and two of the Deltones were Rabbit supporters. So Healthy rivalry. Healthy rivalry. And so being a Rabbito, I got a cab and headed straight up to a hotel. I can't think what the hotel was in Bondi Junction. This is after the game? This is after the game, yeah. And Pee Wee and Brian were there and because uh, it was full of Rooster supporters. And I told the cab, you better wait for me. <laughs> and so I walked in and I just came in the door and think, Glory, glory to South Sydney. All right. Go, go. Next minute I got drowned with schooners. <laughs> I never stopped singing. I, I finished the song and I turned around and hopped in the cab and I had to apologise to the cab driver. I had beer all over his cab. So that was, that was wonderful. Coot is a, an all-time great. Craig Connell, what a legend. Tugger. 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 And you'd never, never meet more of a gentleman. Is Bobby coming at all? Bobby McCarthy? Off a football field, he was an animal when he was on it. Mm -hmm. uh, the Deltones was my new life because I was a solo performer doing bandstand and six o'clock rock and all those shows prior. And then I joined the Deltones and, and uh, Charlie Gibson approached our manager, Bill Watson, to commission us to record the South song. And uh, at the time, uh, South had a really good showroom here and used to have a lot of imports from America and England that would come and work here. And I did a lot of shows here. And the uh, regular compare was uh, the late Terry Holden, a good singer and a good guy. And the band was the Will Dower Sounds. They were the regular South Sydney showroom band and they were probably the best band in the club industry. They were really fantastic. And so they were asked to be a part of it. And so it was the Deltones, Terry Holden who sang the verses and uh, the Will Dower Sounds was the band, and Les Dempsey, the piano player, was the arranger, and he did the arrangement of the tune. And because uh, when it came, the two Rooster supporters weren't all that keen, uh, <laughs> but I stated, well, I'll do it myself if I have to. So uh, we came into the studio and, and did it, and it's amazing, and that's 53, 50, Two years ago, wow. can't believe when I when I had hair. Well, well, that was a long time ago. Uh, I, I've always loved the fact that you know when when I'm at the the games and and the songs played that you know my dad's on the recording, and uh, one of the the, the best rabbit -o moments for me uh, was the 2014 grand final. Um, I'd never seen us win one. Uh, Dad had seen the Rabbitohs win a grand final, but not me. But we went out there together. And anyone, any Rabbitoh supporter that was in the stadium that night, were you there? Like that, that was, um, I've been to a lot of sporting events and maybe because it was so close to home, but the atmosphere in that, in that uh, stadium, the sea of, um, and the Bulldogs have got a massive fan base, but that night was predominantly red and green when you look through the stadium. And I just remember, it, I just remember towards the end of that game, you had grown men, you know, that oh. didn't even know each other, crying and hugging. And, uh, and I remember when we, when, when we walked out after the game, and after the game and they were playing, glory, glory to South Sydney, and we're singing it, and I just thought it was really cool to share that with my dad. But I remember when we walked out, I don't know if you even remember saying this to me, but we walked out and, and, and dad said to me, he said, mate, I've seen a lot of stuff in my time, but watching that game and experiencing that with you was something I won't forget, and it was pretty special. Yeah. When I've been overseas, you see that rabbit everywhere. Yeah. And, and my relationship with Kieran, 
I was on tour in, in, over in America about 12 years ago and, and I was walking through Central Park and I saw this guy walking through Central Park with his wife and he was wearing a, a rabbito beanie. This is in the middle of winter in New York. And he walked past me and said, mate, are you a Rabideau supporter? And then he says, yeah, mate, I am, are you? And then we just struck up a friendship that, and we're still great mates today. And that all started from seeing him wear a beanie in New York. Yeah. And, uh, and I think, you know, there's a lot of reasons to it, but Russell Crowe, I mean, if Russell Crowe and Peter Holmes of Court didn't come on board when they, when they did, we wouldn't have won the grand final in 2014. That's just, that's just how it is. But Russell, the way he has sprouted, I think, you know, you think of all the marketing that goes on within the NRL, internationally, Russell Crowe has probably single-handedly done more for rugby league and the Rabbitohs on the big stages when you see, you know, people like Oprah winning, wearing the Rabbitoh uh, cap and, you know, Bon Jovi and um, Tom Cruise, all this sort of crazy stuff. And if I can just digress really quickly, I've known Russell for many years, but the first time I ever got to meet Russell, a really good friend of mine, Bruno De Oliver, uh, works with Russell. And, and I, it was a long time ago, and, and Bruno rings me out of the blue. He says, mate, if, have you had a gig gig this week? I said, oh, you know, I might have something on my. He goes, oh, look, Tom Cruise is coming out to the football, and Russell wants, wants him to watch rugby league for the first time. Do you mind coming up into the corporate box and playing some music? And I said, mate, of course I'll come and play for <laughs> Russell Crowe and Tom Cruise. So here I am, the first time I met Russell, I'm just in this little box, and here's Tom Cruise, and I'm singing songs with a mate of mine. I said, like, what the hell am I doing here? It was so cool. And you know what, that Rabideau scarf over there, I, I got that day off Russell, I've still got it, but um, he's a good man. We owe him a lot. We owe him a lot. Well, it's funny, another little story. When I was living in America and working over there, I'd see the, the bunny uh, Guernsey, I'd see the, the beanie, I'd see a scarf. And if a person was walking along the street with a South item on, I'd be behind him and I'd just start, glory, glory to South Sydney. And they turn around and say, what's an American singing South Sydney's victory song? I said, I'm a bloody Aussie, mate, you know. I can't believe that I didn't find out that Dad sang on the song, uh, Glory, Glory, until I was an adult. And I remember there was a fan day down here on Redfern Oval and um, Russell was here. I, I don't know if that point Russell had bought the club. I think it was, bef it was before that actually. It was many years before that. And there was a bunch of bands. I know Diesel was playing and I was playing in a band at the time and we were part of the entertainment down on the, on the Oval. And, uh, and I was just, I spoke to dad when I was driving here and he said, you make sure you tell Russell that, you know, that I sang on the song. I said, what are you talking about? He said, mate, you know, that song, I, I sang on that song you know, with the Deltones back in 1967. And I was like, you never told me. So you, know, you never asked. And so I, I never knew. Um, and so I remember that day, uh, at one point, I sort of was chatting to Russell and I said, mate, um, and then, you know, my dad you know, recorded that song. And he was like, really? And I told him the story and uh, he, he thought it was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so anyway, we've never actually sang it together, apart from being at the footy, you know, like you do, but never like with a guitar and, you know. So we might, we might, uh, we might bang, bang out a, a verse and a chorus, what do you reckon, is that cool? <laughs> when speaking of the champions, one stands above the rest Of glories old and records proud and often put to test A fine tradition's history that others cannot best They wear the red and green Glory, glory to South Sydney Glory, glory to South Sydney. Glory, glory to South Sydney. South Sydney marches on. Glory, glory to South Sydney. Glory, glory to South Sydney. Glory, glory to South Sydney. South Sydney marches on. Up the rabbit!